Hey guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little different. I've uh, been going through um, separations and being single for so long. This video is going to be for the single people out there who are struggling to find somebody. To the, nowadays, it's so hard to meet people. <clears throat> it's so hard to meet people nowadays that no, we don't have no options. It's not like back in the day in like the 80s and 90s when people can just go out and meet people. We have crazy ass people out there who do crazy ass things that will ruin it for the good people, you know? Um, and I realize that nowadays we all have our dating apps and we have all of our uh, social, social media. And everyone has their own specific standard of what is pretty and what is, I guess average or right to find in a partner but I don't know I'm I'm trying to give up because I'm giving up all hope on humanity I'm really am um I've been through a lot of relationships in the past uh like everyone else has I've been through a lot of heartbreak a lot of uh, disappointing um relationships that I thought was going to work but um I don't know I is it is it something I'm doing wrong? Is it something that I don't know if it's me or if it's them? But um, nowadays, I, I don't know. I All my cousins, most of my cousins, okay, all my cousins are getting married or having kids. And I'm still by myself. I don't know if it's something that I can fix uh, or if it's something that I'm doing physically or mentally wrong to find somebody but um it's funny i go on these dates with these girls right and i thought it was all going good you know and we're, we're talking and everything's going great and then um all of a sudden they ghost me like two days later no messages no calls nothing block and i'm like what did i do wrong what did i do to make them drive them away. Is it me? I'm too nice. Is it because I'm too honest? Am I too up for? Am I too up for? Uh, forward. I guess you want to say upfront about things. Is it something I did like that? Um, and that, uh, they always say the same shit. They always say, "Oh, I'm looking for a nice guy. I'm looking for a guy who can understand me. Who a guy I can be. You know, I can cry on his shoulder and just be myself." And I'm like. I'm here. I can be that person. But they're like, no, it's not you. It's me. And I'm not looking for someone like you. And I'm like, what? Because I'm not like 190 pounds, fucking abs just ripped, like muscle bound, meathead, fucking jarhead looking dude. Is that what it is that you're looking for? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, girls. Get that out of your mind, okay? Not everybody is a fucking model, okay? And here I am talking about that, and here I am not wanting to get with a chubby girl. It's it's double standard, you know? I'm like, I'm hypocritical on my own self, which is weird. So I've been on a lot of dates with different girls, and I have a specific type of girl that I'm looking for. And to be honest with you, I don't know if it's realistic. Now... If you guys want to know the type of girls I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for someone who works. Works. There's so many girls out here in this world, in this fucking Oklahoma, in Sand Springs and Tulsa, who doesn't have a damn job. And another one is a car. Drive. I'm tired of being your fucking taxi. I'm not going to be your taxi all damn time. And then thirdly... No kids. Why is it so hard? I mean, keep your damn legs closed. Stop pumping out kids. It's not that fucking hard. I I have no kids. I'm 29 years old, about to be 20, about to be 30 in two months. Or, yeah, a month and a couple weeks. Yeah, about to be 30 in, in May. And I have no kids, and I have a job, I have a car, and I have my own place. I'm doing pretty damn good. And yet, I can't find nobody. And every girl I find is either fucked up or worse than the next one. Worse than the last one, you know? And 
Another thing is, I don't want to date any big girls. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm a big guy. I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm still a big guy. And I'm getting tired of dating big girls. I'm tired of going on dates with these girls. They're like, oh, I'm way this. And I meet them, they're like, way more than that. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to be with a big girl. I've been with two small girls and one 94 pounds, which was, which was Rose, who was 94 pounds. And then I dated another girl that was 125, 120 max. And um, I'm sorry. I don't want to be... The reason why I don't want to be with a big girl is because the fact that I have temptations on eating. And when I was a kid, I was very depressed. I Even I'm depressed now. You know, I've been suffering from depression my whole life. But... When you're depressed, there's two types of depression you have. There's the overeaters and then there's the undereaters. Now, I was an overeater. I used to eat all the damn time. And you just... Comfort food. The reason why they call it comfort food because it makes you feel comfortable. makes you feel loved, you know? And... I don't know. I just ate my feelings and I gained a lot of weight. I was 425 pounds in high school and only at 6'2". And I'm 6'4", 6'3", 6'4". Um, and yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, the reason why I don't want a big girl is because of the fact that I know that they eat unhealthy. Now, all, not all big girls, don't, this is a disclaimer, not all big people are unhealthy eaters, okay? Some people can't help it. Some people have a, um, a thyroid problem, like something that in their body keeps them from getting, losing weight. My mom, she can't lose weight as easily, and it's not her fault. She eats okay, she doesn't eat unhealthy, and she gained a lot of weight because the doctor's long complication, but the doctor screwed up her body, and she can't lose the weight. So... Now, I'm not saying that all big people are unhealthy eaters. I know I'm not an unhealthy eater. I eat sushi and salads, long as you know, just random, you know, random, uh, just blah blah blah. But the thing is that these girls I'm looking for, I don't want a girl who. I don't want a girl who likes to sit on her ass and eat and watch TV and not work out. Why is that so hard to look for? Why is it so hard? Nowadays, that is hard. And I don't get it. I don't get why. Why is it so hard for people to be active nowadays? Um, yes, it's hard to get out and get a gym membership. because sometimes It costs money. If you don't have a job, it costs money. But there's things you can do that is free. Just go to a damn park and walk. You don't need to have weights. You don't need hell. Just get a just get a gallon of milk and just do this for a little bit. You know, just whatever. Um, but you don't have to go to a gym and and exercise. You don't have to get a membership. You know, spend a lot of money on these weights and stuff and and equipment that you're not even going to use. You know, but yeah, I'm looking for a girl who is like I don't care how tall, as long as she's not like short, like midget, like under five foot, so I've dated girls who are like five foot and five two. It's really hard to pick them up and kiss them. It's really, yeah, I had to pick them up and kiss them, but it's really hard. I've been down because I'm a tall guy. I'm six four, so it's hard to to kiss someone who's very short. Only way you can do it is you're sitting down. They're they're standing up, but I'm looking for someone who is like one. I don't care how skinny. I don't care ninety two, ninety eighty nine. I don't give a shit. But she has to be healthy. She can't have her spine poking out of her back. She can't have her rib cage showing. Um, that's one thing bad about Rose. That she was so skinny that you can see her ribs. That was disgusting. Um, and now I think the max, the max amount of weight I would go is 200. That is the max. And a lot of these girls I've been finding are like 220, 220, 250, 300. No fucking thank you. Okay, I am 264. I am not going to be going up to 300 again. Screw that. I am not going to do it. I would starve before I hit 300, 300 pounds again. But um, now, 
if you're, if you're watching this video, which I hope you guys are, um, my name is Jimmy. This is my channel, uh, Blacklight Cherry. You guys might think, what the hell is what with the name Blacklight Cherry? It's a long story. It kind of like ties in with two things in my life that I put together. Um, I'll be another video if you guys want to know why I named my channel Blacklight Cherry. Um, but I'm just tired of going on dates with these girls that will basically break your heart. I mean, they break my heart all the time. And I'm not a typical male. I'm not looking to just have sex. I'm not looking to just, um, one night stand things, you know. I'm looking for a partner who I can be with, who I can share intimate times with, who I can cuddle and watch movies and just spend time with, you know. Um, and I'm tired of being in the friend zone. I, I made a video called Friend Zone. I think it's friend zone, friend zone Sucks or something like that. But I'm getting tired of being the guy who's been put in the friend zone with the girls I really like and the girls that I don't like. The ones that I can't stand, the ones I don't really want to be with, wants to be with me. And I'm like, go away. I don't like you. I'm sorry to hurt your feelings, but it's not going to work out. So, this is the video. Um, I will figure out a name for it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah. If you guys have any comments about relationships or statuses or like what I'm doing wrong or maybe you guys have some comments to tell me what I should do for the next date if I ever get a date because I've been on these dating sites and these dating sites are not working. Um, yeah, leave me some comments. Tell me what I'm doing and hopefully I can change or or do something better. But I feel like the, the way the world is, everyone wants you to change. They don't want to change themselves, you know. But, alright guys, that's it for me. I uh, hope you liked the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.